Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now this one is the end video of this Angular tutorial, Angular course. Up to now we have completed all the major concepts uh, in the Angular. We have com completed the major concepts. We have covered pipes concept. Uh, we have covered the what we can say components architecture. We have seen component life cycle. We have seen services about the services we have seen about the directives we have seen modules we have seen everything we have covered everything so now what we need to learn is now up so up to learning up to here is it okay or not so learning up to here is more than enough for the angler but in order to learn more advanced way so if you want to learn in a more advanced way some of the concepts are needed again so for right now i am not covering the concepts some of these all advanced concepts in this video tutorial in this course so we will be doing those all course in the coming uh, days and all those things. So, but sure, I will do those uh, advanced concepts also. What are the things uh, you need to learn after learning these all the things is, first one is the NGRX. So this is the state management. So right now we are using RxJS for the, to achieve this type of things, emptying these things. R NGRX is a state management in the Angular. So it, it took, uh, it, it has, developer from the redux concept so inspired by the redux actually so in the react js redux concept so we need to learn about this ngrx so oh, this is this is also one of the important thing in the angler i will be covering this uh, ngrx tutorials in the coming days in the coming future so i will do a course on this ngrx also but if you want to learn more after completing this angler if you want to learn more about the angler means this is also one of the things you need to take a look at and another one uh, right now the angular what we have developed is only the client side only that means it is not seo friendly the things what we will be developing is a single statement a single single page it's a. in order to become that one in order to make it as an seo thing you need to see this angular universal okay server side running universal tutorial so you need to take a look at this universal tutorial also so this angular universal so every ujs will have their own next js and uh, react js will be having their next js okay like this you will be for angular also you will be having angular universal which is useful for the seo purpose so server side rendering this one so this one is also if you are interested you can take a look and last but not least so the another important thing is also animations how to do the animations in the angular so uh, doing uh, performing the animations in the angular is also very important why because in order to navigation thing if i click here so like this doing the animations thing so you need to remember so that hamburger thing going this side and the side animation thing also you need to know how to do it in the angler now this is also one of the important thing we need to learn and uh, and also you'll be having angler material if you want to learn about this one uh, about the design and all those things you'll be ha angler is having separate concept that is angler material okay you will be also able uh, you should also know about this ang angular material angular material is also one of the important thing and another one what i can say is uh, these are some of the important concepts so what you need to learn about this one in the angular and uh, some of the things also uh, left in this one service workers and all those things also so i will do a videos in the coming days so step by step i will be doing this one so until up to here the angular it will be more than enough so learning all these concepts so the job oriented thing so it will be enough for us uh, if you are having three places so some of the viewers or some subscribers they are asking me so if i learn all this tutorial is it okay for me yeah so for uh, three plus years of experience this is more than enough you know, but you should have a basic knowledge on ngrx and angular you, you should you should be aware of these topics there is no need to know all the concepts depth wise concepts there is no need to know you should be aware that there is a concept that is ngrx is thing so we like this we need to we can use ngrx in this purpose so in these requirements we can use ngrx but if you don't know how to apply it's okay but you know where to apply then it is more than enough so then some sometime you will apply that one so if you get a requirement of this one okay here the ngrx uh, support we can use this ngrx support so you can implement that one but you don't know where to apply and when to apply then how to apply is not uh, uh, necessary so, so it's not important so we if you don't know where to apply then there is no need of learning ngrx so learning ngrx and you don't know where to apply means uh, 
uh, that is a uh, waste that is waste so that is the reason you need to understand so these are the angular course basic things so if you learn these all tutorials uh, if you learn this course and all these things so you'll be able to learn so yeah and if you uh, if you see outside the bro outside the uh, the surfing the internet and also if you do it, then also you will be able to learn very easily the concepts you will be able to understand very easily by seeing all these concepts and all the things so if you find any uh if any if you find any wrong in the two courses and all those things so please let me know i will also make correct of this one uh, if you find it very helpful that is more than enough so i think you will be finding it you will be finding more helpful in angular why because i made this tutorial list so you will be finding in one place you will be finding all the concepts okay so instead of searching there and there then you can able to search a entire course here so if you want any more course and anything so just please let me know let me know i will do the videos on that one so if i get a time or anything and this is all about the angler so uh, if you do this tutorial and all those things so you can keep it in the resume and you can search you can apply for the job oriented thing so it's not a problem so you can apply for the career oriented thing so angler so if you uh, if you learn these all 135 around is videos and there is this i think so if you learn these all the video if you see and practice is the more important so if you practice this one only then it you will be able to remember if you don't do practice if you just simply see all the videos means that is not enough so you will be forgetting so for example today you saw five videos tomorrow you saw 15 videos uh, day after uh, after day after tomorrow if you saw 50 videos means so you can within four days you can complete all the videos but after four days after four days after one week after one month if i ask you again you will be not able to remember you will be not able to use that one also you'll be able to forget the syntax and all those things also okay so this is important so practice is the more important thing so you need to practice more and more in order to get proficient in the angular okay this is all about the angular so practice more and uh, you'll be having a great future in your career so you will be able to get job easily and uh, you, will, you will also get a good pay off all, good pay good pay also okay so this is all about what i want to tell you about this angler so coming videos we will be doing angler thing so animations uh, this ngrx and all those things also i'll be doing but it will take some time so i will be moving into another framework so view 3 i will cover i will start the view 3 course in the coming uh, sessions so view 3 is also one of the upcoming thing so it is also very simple and it is also very powerful so latestly view 3 has been released so we will be learning that one okay so all the best for your future so if you have any doubts or any suggestions so uh, please uh, give give comments to the below so that i will give to try to give the reply and uh, last but not least so please support me by subscribing to my channel so that i will be posting more and more front end development courses why because if you subscribe me only i will be get the boosting thing I will, be, I will be posting more and more front-end development courses by learning and I will post these things. If you do, don't subscribe and all those things means so I will get a somewhat inferior feeling or something like that. So I don't get, I, I will be thinking that so more people are not seeing my courses and all those things. I will be thinking of like that. So that is the reason. So please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Thank you.